should I overfund my 529 plans on purpose for tax reasons as personal investment and estate planning tool? So this question is getting at a separate use of an educational savings uh, type of account called a 529 besides for college. He's talking about saving for retirement in the 529. And a lot of people think about this. They're like, well, all that tax protection over the years must be worth more than the penalty when I take the money out. And the truth of the matter is that it is not, not without a dramatic decrease in your tax brackets between your working years and when you retire. And most people considering doing this probably won't have as large of a drop as the average person there. And the reason why is twofold. One, when you pull that money out and don't use it for education, you got to pay a 10% penalty. And two, when you pull that money out and don't use it for education, you've got to pay taxes at your ordinary income tax rate, not the lower capital gains rates. And so in that respect, it's like an annuity, but a bad annuity because there's an additional 10% penalty. Um, and so, yes, you get protected while it grows, but when you pull it out, you end up paying such higher tax levels that this is not going to come out ahead. You are going to end up better off investing just in a taxable account. And you also get the other benefits of a taxable account, right? You get the ability to tax loss harvest any losses. You can donate appreciated shares to charity. You get the step up in basis at death. Um, you can gift the shares to family members and they can sell them at their lower tax bracket. Um, you know, there's lots of different things that can be done um, in a taxable account that can't necessarily be done in a 529. So use your 529s for education. Don't use them for retirement and uh, just stick with, you know, standard retirement accounts plus a taxable account there. The only one that I think you can really uh, use for a purpose it's not designed for effectively is a health savings account. But even there, the best use of it is to spend it on health care eventually. If you want your questions answered by the White Coat Investor, record your question at whitecoatinvestor.com slash YQA, or click the link in the description. My dad, your host, Dr. Dahl, is a practicing emergency physician, blogger, author, and podcaster. He is not a licensed accountant, attorney, or financial advisor, so this podcast is for your entertainment and information only, and should not be considered official, personalized financial advice.